each food is different like each person is different we get different nutrients from different foods subscribe to my channel here on youtube if you like my contents or my ideas kobe crew i research about foods on a part-time basis as a hobby i am here because i'm interested in food connections and philosophies i've had a situation in december 2022 when the doctors discovered that my cardiovascular system was older than my biological age that means i have these plaques fat deposits in some of the arteries there are five places that the doctors identified were blocked with fat deposits it's not yet so dangerous that i need to take medicines but i was warned that i should change my diet and move some more exercise some more i will go back again there in december this year to check my progress if i have become better or not my main motivation to be here on youtube is to share with you my journey to saving myself and i hope my lessons can help you prevent such occurrence i was disappointed with myself that this thing happened but it's already there if i want to save myself from having to take medications every day in order to survive i will really have to continue being serious about eating healthier foods and exercising appropriately it's all about balance balance with regard to the foods that i like and foods that i need to eat or exercising to or the movements i need to make so as to help circulation in my body all things are possible i believe in that i'm positive that with proper research and hands-on attention to the details i will be able to make it i don't know if i need an operation to clear my arteries of some of these blockages but as of now it's not yet recommended because the blockages in five areas of my body just total to about 7.7 .7 millimeters two in my left neck one blockage in my right and then one on each side of my calves and i think the most important message for people out there is an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure and if you're feeling something that means you have to go and check it up with the doctors and after that make your decisions make changes in your diet or lifestyle in accordance with your conscience your budget your lifestyle your philosophy and of course standard medical knowledge we can't go against standard medical knowledge what we're doing here is on a hobby basis it's just for recommendations it's like being not a teacher but being a mentor or a colleague who goes with you in the process or perhaps who is ahead of you in the process because i already have the situation it's not difficult for the medical diagnostic systems now to find out if you have, for example, fatty liver or damaged kidneys or heart that is not functional or have fats. It's just a matter of prioritizing and finding time to go and have a checkup. If I had done this one since I was in my late 20s, I think perhaps my health would be better my bad today. Genes, not really bad genes, weaker genes with regard to cardiovascular systems. I hope in the future we can build a community here to help each other be on top 
of the latest developments in food, science, research, medicine. My objective at least is to grow older and not feel so much pains or difficulties as an older person and hopefully to avoid taking maintenance meds. My kidneys are also not so strong. They are okay if I continue to take good care of them. This is not about being hypochondriac, but it's about prevention. Curative medicine can be costly and more invasive. Preventive medicine is cheaper. Of course, if, if you think about it, it's not really cheap to, to prevent the onset of diseases. It's a matter of incorporating into one's lifestyle things that can help to maintain health as one advances in years. If you have the means, you have the time, have a regular medical checkup at least once a year, starting when you're in your late 20s. Because these days, younger people tend to eat a lot of fast foods. And as we know, a lot of these have the trans fats, which can lead to build up of blockages in the arteries. Anyway, that's another topic. For now, I'm here to introduce myself and what I'm doing. And I hope I can find more people who are like-minded. I go for eating balanced diets in accordance with what one wants or one has cravings for. And of course, in accordance with one's state of health. I've always liked plant foods, but after the doctors discovered my condition, that is my blocked arteries, I decided to incorporate more plant foods into our diets without, of course, abandoning the traditional things that we like, like fish, some meat, some dairy, and eggs. The food choices we make affect our health. So let's be conscious of these. Click that subscribe button if you want to see more of my food experiments.